Hi, the question says classify the following into elements, compounds, and mixtures. Now, first of all, we must know the difference between all the three that is, elements, compounds, and mixtures. Elements are those substances which are pure and consisting only of one type of atom, whereas compounds are also pure substances, but they must be consisting of two or more different types of atoms which are chemically combined, whereas mixtures are two or more different types of substances which are not chemically combined. So, with the list which is given to us, the first one is sodium. Now, your sodium would come under the category of element as it is made up of only one type of atoms. The next one is soil. Now, soil is a mixture and therefore will bring it under the column of mixture. The third part is sugar solution. Now, sugar solution is again a mixture of sugar and water or fluid or maybe a milk. Therefore, it might come under mixtures. Next is silver. Now, again, silver is an element or it is made up of one type of element, atoms. Therefore, it will come under elements. The calcium carbonate. Now, calcium carbonate is a compound as it will form a homogeneous mixture and will be chemically mixed with each other. So, it will come under compounds. Next is tin. Now, tin is again an element. It is made up of one type of atoms. Next is silicon. Again, silicon will come under elements as it will made it will be made up of only one type of atoms. Next is coal. Now coal is come, will come under mixture as it is a mixture of certain dead organisms which have been buried under and it has been created with high pressure and it has been converted into coal. So it will come under mixture. Next is air. Now air is also a mixture of several gases so it will come under the category of mixtures. So now soap is again a mixture of different different particles which are added to make a soap so it will also come under mixtures methane now methane is a compound of carbon hydrogen and carbon and hydrogen so it will be chemically involved and therefore it will come under compounds next is carbon dioxide again carbon dioxide will be a compound of carbon and oxygen which have been chemically reacted to each other and it will come under compounds and the last is blood. Now, blood is a mixture of several different parts in our body that is RBCs, WBCs and platelets and plasma. So, it would come under mixtures as they are not chemically interactive with each other. So, from the list which have been provided to us, your elements would have sodium, silver, tin and silicon. For the compounds, it will be having calcium carbonate, carbon dioxide and methane. For the mixtures, we will have soil, sugar solution, coal, air, blood and soap. Thank you.